Well, here it goes. I am uh, Marleen and I am from the Netherlands. Uh, I've been wanting to make a knitting podcast for a long time, so here it is, episode one. <laughs> um, my name on Instagram and on Ravelry is uh, Sunny Sea Knits, uh, so that's why the podcast also is named uh, Sunny Sea Knits, of course. Um, and welcome, thank you for watching. Um, I'm a working mom, uh, married to a lovely husband, and uh, we have two uh, uh, beautiful girls. Um, why do I want to do a podcast? It's just um, because I love knitting and I also really am inspired by other podcast makers uh, or podcast podcasts about knitting. And um, yeah, it's just being part of the knitting community, I guess. <laughs> and I uh, just want to try it and just see uh, if I like it. Um, I'm just going to talk about what I'm wearing and uh, what I finished and uh, my work in progress, so my whips and uh, some small uh, acquisitions also. Um, yeah, just let, let's just jump right into it. Um, I'm wearing the Trista cardigan. Uh, it's actually, uh, it's a pattern, uh, it's very famous already. It's a pattern by Jennifer Steinkast and it's made as a sweater, but uh, I made a cardigan of it. Um, and I bought, uh, ah, here it is. I bought the Let Lopi uh, wool I used. I bought this one as, at uh, Moe Moore. It's uh, uh, a store in North Gouwen in uh, a province uh, Zeeland. And um, yeah, it's very beautiful. It's very, also a lot of people knit with it. Uh, it's, it's Icelandic wool, uh, 50 grams for 100 meter. And I did a lot of adjustments on the pattern. Um, but first let me tell you the colors, I'm sorry. Uh, I used light ash gray, no, light ash header. And uh, the dark color is the uh, chocolate header and then the light beige header and uh, the color white. Um, I did also a lot of adjustments on the pattern itself because the neckline is actually supposed to be just stockinette so it curls but I did one by one rip uh, and I put uh, five sticking stitches uh, extra um, and what else? I made it a long longer uh, because I'm quite tall. I'm 180 uh, centimeters. <laughs> I have to think about it. Um, so my sleeves are very long, uh, much longer. And I also made a two by two rib uh, longer than uh, you're supposed to do in the pattern. Uh, I'm going to stand up. <laughs> so this is the, the, the yoke, it's very nice. And I, made it much, much longer and also the uh, bottom edge. Uh, I first did, uh, before I started, I did 25% uh, decreases of stitches, but I didn't like it. So I cut it off after I sticked it. So that was quite a challenge. So I yeah, kind of re reinforced it with my sewing machine um, and then picked up the stitches. And then I needle felt it, uh, the edge, a little bit, uh, and that worked out, <laughs> so I'm very happy. And um, for the the um, to get rid of the sticking uh, edge, actually, I um, made a kind of I don't know the name. Is, is it BA band? I don't know. I just did uh, a stockinette uh, of four. Um, rows and then one garter stitch row and then four stockinette and then an I-cord bind off and um, I sew that by hand again and then the button band <laughs> and I got these beautiful buttons from um, Koper Draadje that's a store in Al Blasserdam in Holland um, and I'm very happy with it. It's a very nice cardigan. It's, I really love it. It's so warm, but also with this weather, it's 
it's perfect because it's not too warm, not too cold. Yeah, I really love it. And I, my experience also with gloves of Let Lopi is that it's also a little bit water resistant. So if it's raining just a little bit, uh, it doesn't go uh, uh, through the, the cardigan, I hope. <laughs> uh, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> Another finished project. I'm sorry, I'm a, I have a little bit of a sore throat, so that's why I'm making all these uh, nasty sounds. <laughs> um, another finished project is the Hydra uh, by Fibertails. Um, and uh, they're really lovely. I really like them, so I'm just going to show them. It's... Uh, a very nice and easy pattern I thought maybe even if you're just no, well not a beginner knitter but if you just are a little bit experienced you can already make it uh, and it a, has a beautiful structure and also this is quite surprising how you make this it's very nice and I really like this especially with now it's kind of spring weather in uh, Holland so this is really uh, good because it's not too warm uh, and not too cold and also the wool is very nice. I used Tuku Wool DK by Titi. I bought it at Cross and Woods. They have a lot of uh, uh, options of the Tuku Wool. Uh, and this is DK. And they also have fingering. And it's just, yeah, I really love that store also. And also the Tuku Wool. <laughs> uh, it's, um, uh, I think, forest green color. And it's 100% finished wool. 250 meters for 100 grams and um, yeah I really love this oh the colorway is Havu um, yeah so very happy with these gloves I have to do <laughs> to see it. I have to uh, get rid of this uh, thing uh, yet and then it's really finished um, so those are the mittens and then I finished just today um, no yesterday <laughs> Don't die, Marlene. Uh, yesterday I finished the uh, Oslo hat, and it's very nice. And it's very, um, yeah, I'm very surprised about the pattern actually. I never made a hat like in this pattern. Uh, the pattern is from Petite Knit, and uh, yeah, of course, she has very nice and lovely uh, patterns, and also uh, very clear, very uh, nice to knit uh, on. Um, and it's just a flap on so it's very nice uh, and very warm I'm not going to put it on because my hair is just uh, I stuck it up do you say that stuck it up? I don't know I, I put my hair on up yeah that's it I put my hair up uh, the wool I used is of course a creamy color but I only have these left to, to show you the uh, the, full, the wool it's a Sunday by Petit Knit and it's uh, from Sunday's Garn um, and it's uh, uh, non uh, superwash wool it's 100% uh, merino and it's very very soft I really like it and obviously I'm going to make another Oslo hat uh, with these two uh, three you need three balls of uh, uh, Sunday's on this Garn um, and uh, these I bought at uh, Vive Handmade. It's uh, a store in Dordrecht. And uh, it's a very nice and lovely store. Uh, really nice to check her out also. Um, then, what have I finished? Yeah, I'm actually in doubt to show you this. Uh, but I'm just going to do it. <laughs> um, it's the Romy cardigan. It's very big. Hi. <laughs> so it's um, a very large pattern and I actually wanted to, you have to do this, that's not that uh, nice actually, but uh, I made it before, I made it for a friend of mine and I actually uh, had a lot of um, uh, of these uh, the petite wool from Rio Knitters. I bought it, a lot of, so my best English. Uh, but um, I thought about it a long time and I wanted actually to make a top-down sweater and then eventually I just don't know why but I just had to 
cast on the Romy cardigan again. And um, I'm very happy with it. But the only thing is I made it uh, like uh, 20 rows longer because I'm quite tall. And I like it when the cardigan is underneath my uh, bottom. <laughs> and so, but today I put it on and I thought, oh, it's maybe too long. It's way too long. So I don't know, but it's a, a very nice cardigan and I'm really loving the color and also the shape and also those uh, uh, fringe. But maybe I'm, um, I'm going to think about it if I cast it off again a little bit and then um, uh, make it a little bit less uh, long, so shorter as actually I didn't follow the pattern, so you should always follow the pattern. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I um, uh, knitted this on 8 millimeters uh, needles uh, and I used uh, the Petite Wool. It's a Peruvian 100% non-superwash wool and uh, I, at least I think it's non-superwash. It doesn't say it, but it feels like non-superwash and it's also uh, has the same warmth actually. I have also another cardigan of it and it's, it's kind of comparable with the warmth of this uh, um, Trisac cardigan. Um, so yeah, it's a very lovely wool. But uh, the only thing is it peels quite quickly. So you really need to have a, uh, yeah, a deep pillar kind of device. Uh, I have one electric, yeah. Maybe not that uh, sustainable, but uh, <laughs> it works. <laughs> and eventually, because I have a lot of wool of the uh, of this, uh, still like three skeins or something, so I'm also making uh, the trendy uh, chala shawl from uh, Weir Knitters, um, and I keep it in my. Uh, handmade. Oh, I need, I need to tighten things up before you show them, Marlene. Um, so uh, I made this um, project back uh, by myself with the sewing machine, and um, this is the Trendichala or Chal. I don't know how you uh, pronounce that. Um, it's just a, it's a very simple <laughs> shawl. It's like a triangle, and I really like it because it knits uh, quite quickly. Um, so that's that. Um, then I have another uh, work in progress uh, and that's um, the winter sole uh, sweater also from Jennifer Steingoss and I, yeah, I'm just going to show you. <laughs> I have a lot to tell you about this one because um, I used the British wool, blue wool from Erica Knight. It's very lovely wool. It's it's rustic wool also, so it's non super wash, um, and it's very nice. It's it's like a hundred grams, and um, yeah, very not that rustic as let low be. So it's kind of soft, but that makes it also uh, quite difficult to do the color uh, work. Um, I'm quite new to color work, so I'm just trying out, but um, I made some mistakes <laughs> and I saw, what's the name again? Carlos and... I will put the name under. Uh, I saw a video and they said, well, the first thing you need to know about color work, if you start, you don't uh, catch the floats underneath one another, which of course I did. And I think it's really uh, not beautiful. My mom, she said yesterday, oh, what are you worrying about? It's just beautiful. You just, you made it, ha it's handmade and uh, uh, just, uh, uh, yeah, uh, finish it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I also saw from uh, uh, Skeins of Dreams, she also advised the leather back jacquard knitting. So I'm going to uh, rip it off until I think here, where I made the mistakes, because here are the mistakes, and then I will just knit it up again, because it's actually a good pattern, because you start here and then knit up, 
and then you start again here and knit it down and also the sleeves so um, it's actually a pattern that you can really um, adjust easily easier easy easy um, what can I uh, what else can I tell you about it um, it's uh, I'm also going to stick it uh, with five extra sticking stitches so I'm also quite um, curious uh, how that will um, work out and I'm going to use this, the, the sticking uh, technique that you use your crochet hook uh, and then uh, knit the button band also so um, I actually um, I've never sticked before and I'm not that um, how you say uh, experienced with color work but I want to do everything <laughs> in once and learn a lot so that's uh, why I'm also showing it you now because then I hope next time I have beautiful color work. <laughs> uh, that's it. And oh yeah, and this is the, the blue uh, color. It's uh, color uh, 602. And I really like this color. Oh, I'm putting it. Yeah. Very beautiful. Um, that's it about this, I think. And. Um, yeah, because um, there is a knit along. I don't know the name of the lady. I will put it under. It's knitting with cat hair. I think her name is. She ha she uh, organized uh, a year of Marie Wallen knit along, and um, I also saw this pattern with uh, knitting traditions podcast. Uh, it's by Marie Wallen, and I use the of course the. Uh, British breed of Marie Wallen. It's not, of course, but it's. I really liked it to just to try it uh, with a pattern, uh, and it saves you a lot of time to look for other kind of wool. Obviously, I'm not that far, um, but um, I really like this pattern. It's very nice and beautiful, and also because the uh, the knit along. Uh, there's a, uh, it's in the app Slack. You get a lot of uh, nice uh, tips and advices, and also I watched a lot of the podcast of um, uh, Mel Make Stuff, and she also has a lot of advices about Marie Wallin and uh, and her patterns, and uh, it's very nice to knit on. Uh, but this is really for me a slow project, so I won't be hasting up with this one. <laughs> uh, and obviously. Uh, the pattern is written that it uh, has uh, a front panel, uh, left, right and a back panel. But I'm going to knit it in a round. Hello! <laughs> so um, that's also, uh, again, a, a good um, experience for me. And I'm going to st uh, stick it also again. Uh, but I'm going to use the technique that I needle felt it with this one. So I uh, have a lot of sticking projects at the moment. At the moment. Uh, so this one was the cutting and then the crochet and then the needle felting. And I'm really um, uh, curious what I think is uh, the nice or best uh, method. But I will come back to you by that. I have another whip but I'm not going to show you because I'm making it for my mother. So maybe next time, if there's a next time. <laughs> so... Um, now I want to talk about uh, acquisitions. I uh, asked Tem of uh, Olivia and Oliver Fibers uh, to hand dye for me some yarn because my husband uh, wants a sweater for a long time and he wants the dark chocolate color of a sweater. So, and I saw that Tem made the uh, whiskey, uh, is it whiskey sweater? I don't know, uh, from Max the Knitter? Yeah, whiskey sweater or malt whiskey. No, I don't know. I'm going to put it under. Um, so, um, she dyed these for me. It's very nice and it's very uh, nice and soft wool and I really love the color. It's such a yeah, I don't know. She's really a magician with all the <laughs> with all the color uh, ways she has, 
and uh, it's non superwash. Um, it's 191 meters for 150 grams for ply. Um, but oh, look at that color! It's really nice. I really love it. So beautiful. So I'm uh, looking forward uh, to uh, knit with these. <laughs> so that's these. And then I also uh, bought um, for myself. Um, well, it was a little bit uh, unexpected um, acquisition. I bought it at Cross and Woods. Uh, it's from Olan. These colors. <laughs> it's uh, the sock light uh, and uh, uh, the the colorway is called Ghost Ranch, and I'm going to knit a, a cardigan with it. So curious to see how it turns out. I actually needed four. But it's like with 425 meters for 100 grams, so maybe I will just manage to make a little bit of shorter uh, cardigan, which I can uh, wear above uh, a, uh, uh, a dress. Uh, so that's this one. And the other things, I already bought it a long time ago, um, but I'm going to knit also the Novice cardigan of uh, Petit Knit. Uh, and a chunky edition, so with Snefnak from Camaros and uh, uh, together with uh, a mohair, the Kremke Silky Kit. This one I bought at Cross and Woods, obviously, <laughs> that's my favorite, favorite store ever. And uh, Kremke Sol Wool, I bought at uh, Miriam Molenbeek, and it's also a very nice uh, shop. Um, that's it, it's a very short um, uh, podcast uh, movie, uh, but it's the first time. So um, I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching uh, until now. <laughs> and um, I, will, I hope to see you next time. Bye. Hey.